Hello again, I'm Joel Bartholomew. I had the opportunity to attend the recent gathering of the Nashville Healthcare Council, and it was nice to see some friendly bantering among the top executives who, as members of the council, are also competitors. Nashville has become a major innovation center for healthcare. It's home to a diverse cluster of 13 publicly traded corporations like LifePoint Hospitals, Vanguard Health Systems, Community Health Systems and HCA Holdings, and universities with prestigious medical programs led by Vanderbilt. Overall, there are some 250 healthcare companies in that city. So if there is one location where there is a sense of the future of healthcare, it's Nashville. In fact, the focus of the council meeting was to discuss prospects for the industry in 2014. The consensus of the panelists was that hospital groups will do okay with the Affordable Care Act as long as they can control costs, improve quality of care, and avoid costly readmissions. Most thought that the post-acute care sector, which includes skilled nursing facilities, will struggle because it will see rate cuts to fund reform without any benefits to offset them. Frank Morgan, one of the analysts of the panel, said his company, Royal Bank of Canada Capital Markets, anticipates continued consolidation in the market as reform puts pressure on providers with fewer resources. Ralph Giacobbe, Director of Healthcare Research Team at Credit Suisse, expects some sectors like managed care will park money on the sidelines until they can figure out the impact of the Affordable Care Act. Meanwhile, they will focus on innovation and new ways of serving customers. On another topic, whether Congress will be able to fix the sustainable growth rate, there was disagreement. The government uses this rate formula to set reimbursements for physicians who have Medicare patients. Those reimbursements have been going down for years, but rather than solve the problem once and for all, lawmakers have kicked the can down the road with annual Band-Aid bills. Wayne Smith, Chairman, President and CEO of Community Health Systems, did a great job leading the discussion as the moderator. Both Whit Mayo, an analyst with Robert W. Baird, and Frank Morgan said they think a permanent solution was likely. But Ralph Giacobbe and Kevin Fishbeck of Bank of America Merrill Lynch believe that politics will block any long-term plan. We can always debate the future of health care, but in the end, I am confident that connected health will continue to be useful in the changing environment. We believe so strongly that we can transform healthcare globally by developing and integrating secure, efficient health delivery systems that improve access and quality of care while eliminating unnecessary costs that we've made it our mission. We were truly honored and excited to join the council as we search for ways to make healthcare better for all of us. If you want to know more about the Nashville Health Care Council, click on the link on this webpage. I'm Joel Bartholomew and Connected Health is what we do. If you have a comment or a question, send me an email. You'll find it here at the bottom of this page also.